back on my old trails. Oh, it feels good to be back here. I haven't been on this trail since we moved. Oh, I'll never forget this loop. Never forget this loop. This is part of the 10 mile loop. And we're back with the 50 mile. Oh, so close. There it is on your screen. Will you forgive me, DGR? 49.8 miles. Oh, so close. I thought I knew I was going to be close anyway. I'm going to let that point two slide for now for a stability. Okay, we took another stability shoe to 50 miles. Very interesting. All right, that lets you know, like, you know me, I'm a, I'm a neutral road runner. I like neutral road running shoes, so if I do take a stability shoe past 50 miles or close, uh, you know that I enjoyed the ride. Wasn't it? Ooh, so zesty out there. Some of those drone shots, just beautiful. Uh, the weather is changing it as far as getting cooler and uh, just the leaves change. I, just, I love, eh, not the question of the day, what is your favorite season? to run in. I got to say, it's hard to argue against fall or autumn. If you know what I mean, here we go. Eight millimeter drop from heel to toe. Okay. 34 in the heel, 26 in the forefoot for basically a medium ish, medium to high stack height through that midsole for women's size eight, men's size nine. Soak it in. We're looking at 8.7 and 9.7. And let's just Confirm. All right, let me turn on this scale. Forgot to turn it on. I believe we're looking at about 9.4 ish. Yes, 9.3, 9.4 in my size, a smidge on the heavy side, which is why the score didn't break into the sevens. Looking at a hypo knit engineered mesh. Okay, fascinating upper. I gotta say, New Balance, loving the loving the upper, loving the back of the upper especially. Okay, let's start there actually. The collar, perfect, comfortable, felt secure around my ankle. The flare at the back, okay, the heel flare, amazing. Uh, no rubbing, no discomfort there at the back of the heel counter, right there. Fairly strong, you know, I mean, yeah, I can, okay, I can bend it if I put some force into it, but it's a pretty secure and solid, uh, that heel pocket, yeah, the heel pocket was amazing. I didn't feel like my heel was slipping at all through the foot strike. And let me just see, yeah, not a semi-gusseted or gusseted tongue, uh, not quite plush through the collar and the tongue, uh, but it is a very, very comfortable, well thought out. That's what I was thinking of when I was scoring the shoe. A very well thought out collar. So I like that New Balance. Now, the Hypo Knit uh, mesh through the toe box. It's almost, almost like spandex. Like it's, it's like stretching all, like too much. And I'm going to come back to this throughout the review. I think it's almost stretching too much New Balance to the point where I did not feel, and this is why the lockdown score, there it is, wasn't the best. It just felt like I was swimming a little too much through the toe box, okay? So anyway, it's comfortable, but I almost wanted a little more rigidity through the toe box. Now, yeah, so you kind of, it's, you sacrifice, or you gain comfort, but you sacrifice a little bit of that secure feel through the toe box. Overall score, there you go. Uh, moving on to that Fresh Foam X midsole. Let's actually do the durometer before I forget. Okay, it's giving, but not too, too much, and this is why, all right? It's the first appearance of Fresh Foam X foam in the Vongo line, and it has what's called this gradient stability, which is utilizing these pellets in the foam to gradually get more dense on the medial side of the shoe toward the midfoot for a very smooth support, and I gotta say, I felt it like it just was a nice smooth transition 
you know, I, I'm more of a four foot striker, but when I made this the switch to test out how does it feel going heel to toe, heel to toe, it felt awesome. So good work there, New Balance, on really thinking through the uh, the pellets and how to create a stability shoe without a, cr oh yeah, I should mention, there's no post, okay? No medial post to really, it's not, it's, it doesn't feel over rigid through the foot strike, okay? Sometimes you get a post there on the medial side and it's just like, oh, it's almost too much, at least for my liking. So ride and energy return, there you go, an overall score in the sevens. Onto that blown rubber on the outsole, it accomplishes the goal, solid score, I think high durability, it accomplishes the goal of being a stability shoe without, again, without crazy, yeah, see the rubber as I'm pressing my thumb into it, it's giving a little bit. So it's not like, oh my goodness, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I guess I'm thinking of Asics in particular on their stability shoes. Sometimes it's like such a hard landing because that rubber on the outsole is extra, extra hard. Okay, moving on to the fit. I went true to size. And again, the score is suffering a little bit, mostly because of the hypo knit upper. And yeah, who knows? I don't know what New Balance could do to, maybe, I rarely, I don't ever say this, maybe some sort of overlay through the toe box to help with the fit in the secure, uh, to help secure your foot there in the toe box. Comfort score, nice and high, uh, mostly because of the upper. You know, the ride is decent on the comfort on the comfort scale, but it's mostly the upper that's bumping the, and when I do the comfort score, just I think most of you know this at this point, I'm, I'm combining the entire shoe, the upper with the midsole ride, and the, and the outsole for that matter, because the outsole, like I just talked about, the blown rubber, it does impact the ride, which impacts the comfort, score, uh, the comfort of the shoe. All right, positives and drawback positive. Going with a collar, nailed it. Uh, and the, I get, you know, the heel counter as well. Drawback is that toe box. Durability prediction, I'm going, going 500. If you take this shoe past 300, let's say, please do email me photos or you know tag me on Twitter or somewhere. Uh, let us know how the shoe is holding up past 300. My, especially that outsole. I'm very curious to see how that outsole rubber We'll hold up. Okay, how will I use this shoe? Who is it best for? And yeah, there's the durability prediction score. How will I use this shoe? Daily trainer, definitely. And somebody, somebody that needs a stability shoe that's not, uh, you know, doesn't want to deal with a post on the medial side, just a gentle stability shoe, okay? Just needs a, you just need a little help with that over pro nation. Okay, price point, uh, I don't know, new bet. What are we doing? I don't know, 150. 135 to 140 would be much, much better. 150 is kind of on the pricey side, okay? Six and a half out of 10 for the score. Other shoes to buy, there you go. I'm putting the Prism V2 from New Balance kind of at the bottom. Out of all of those on your screen, I would go Endorphin Shift 2. Really enjoyed the ride of the Endorphin Shift 2. And you know what, earlier this year, I'll try to remember to link to it, upper right hand corner, and or you could find it, I believe on demoreglobalrunning.com is the Saucony Hurricane 23. Okay, New Balance Vongo V5 shoe quick specs on your screen, soak it in. Hypo Knit Engineered Mesh, fresh Foamax midsole. All right, coming in at that $150 price point. Full review score, 49.8 miles, coming in at 7.27 out of 10. Another stability shoe, and I will link to the stability running, I, you know, oh man. The st I'd say oh man, because I just haven't ran in a ton of stability shoes, but I'm trying. I'm trying to do better for all of you. I'll link to the playlist down below in the description and this shoe is available down below in the description as well okay all right here we go found the comment of the day shout out to gerald brown thank you for taking the time to comment on the saucony guide 14 which was i think possibly the last stability shoe I tested. He says, I only wear stability shoes. My rotation includes Brooks Adrenaline, the 20s, New Balance 860s, the V10s, and the Hoka Arahi 4. I actually enjoyed the Arahi 4 from uh, 20, 
20, I believe it was. I've been testing the Brooks Transcend 7, which will now be incorporated into the Glycerin GTS. Great cushioning for longer runs. Gerald, thank you for that insight as to your stability running shoe rotation. Onward and upward, question of the day. Did you race this weekend? If so, what was the distance? What was the surface? How did it go for you? Did you meet your goals? And whether you met your goals or not, that's okay. You know, we run races sometimes and sometimes we hit the goals and sometimes we don't. And then guess what? We keep turning that doorknob regardless. You know what I mean? All right, onward and upward. Let's do this. Um, tossing it to the stability running shoe playlist. Stability running shoe playlist right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.